There he is. Yes, sir. Chris has arrived. Feeling great. I'm feeling great right now. All right, boys. So we're out here at uh, at Best Buy. Let's get it. Probably can't see it there, but um, picking up a mic, curbside delivery. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's gonna sound a little bit better once we get that mic. Um, just to give you a quick update. Uh, we're heading up up north to Browerville, Minnesota, to go meet with uh, go meet with Jack, and he's gonna show us how to spearfish, and we're gonna do a little ice fishing. Both both first for most for both of us. So uh, you know, it's gonna be a great day. Excited to take you guys along with us. Or say, I don't have one, or press one. That's okay. If you know the extension you want, just press the pound key. Otherwise, what can I help you with? Pick up. Sure. What do you need to pick up? Say, a recent purchase. A recent a purchase. Are you checking if your order is ready for pickup? Yes. What's the order number? Oh, hello. Hi there. Sorry about the ridiculous wait. No, you're good. Our system didn't tell me you were here. That's fine. So you checked in for the third time. Alright guys, we're, we're rolling down Jack's Road right now, um, and we're out in the boondocks, boys. Hello? Hey, what up, Jackie? I think we're here. You got a red pickup truck? Yep. Alright, we're outside the front door, I think. Okay, perfect. <laughs> what up, Jack? What's up, Chris? How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Alright boys, uh, we made it to the Adamite's household. Um, Peyton got a little coffee in him. Uh, we're feeling good today. It's it's a little warm, so it's not going to be too bad out there. Say uh, good morning to the Bass Hole Nation. Good morning, Bass Hole Nation. Hope everyone's having a good day and we're going to have a good day fishing, hopefully. So this guy right here, this is your, um, he's your guide for the day? <laughs> For all of us, none of us know how to uh, how to spearfish and jack. It'll be the blind leading the blind. <laughs> so spearfishing, it's in the name. You spearfish with what? So, what do you use to spear them? So we have a kind of looks like a pitchfork. It has seven prongs on it, and we put a rope on the end so you can reel back in. Reel back in, and then yeah, you can get the fish. So well, we have a wooden dark house. I'll, I can show you. It's on the same lake. But we usually get a really dark house, so there's no light, so we can see down the lake. And then cut a hole in the ice. And then we set up some decoys or um, some live bait if you want. And hopefully Northerns come in and you can stab them. Um, we'll probably do two four by twos. So four feet by two feet. It's usually pretty bright. Um, the place we're at right now, it's kind of dirty, but usually lakes, it's pretty clear and you can see them pretty good. How many have you got this year? I've gotten two. That's it. It's well, been, uh, like I said, it's been pretty quiet, so. Well, hey, let's bring that bass hole luck, right? Yes, sir. All right, well, so our setup is we bring one big sled out here. We all carry our essentials. We got our um, clam hut in here, our spears, our tip-ups, our rug for when we set. We got a rug? Buddy, buddy heater. Oh my gosh. And we got a shovel, and also we'll bring our auger out there and our chair, so. So we got the all set for this. So first off, we got to set up our holes. So typically what I do is I shovel out like a little area. So I got a little mini shovel. If I can find it. So what we usually do is we got we get our auger, we get two holes, and then we have a ice blade out here. So we can actually carve the square. It's kind of a kind of a monster. 
Last time when I was like six or seven inches. Oh, okay. So it's probably eight now. Nice. Eight, nine. Since this is what you have to do, you can Yeah, I'll lift it up right here. So, the hole is just cut, and uh, I, it, Jack has to explain. I don't know what the things are. All right, Jack. So, yeah, we usually have some pincers that we can take out the ice block, and then we can, once we're done, we can put it back in and notify people that there's a ice block right there, but I forgot that in my, my little sled, so we had to well, kind of improvise with that. Sounds like just a pain. All right, let's just set up right now. So I'm setting up our decoys right now, and um, my dad made this setup. Because usually the clam doesn't have decoys, so we have um, one planks that go across it, and then we put on um, clamps down so we can have decoys. So this is my um, great grandpa spear. He's it's been kind of handed down our generation. So usually when we have decoys up, you want to make a really big wide circle. So that means supposed to mean that like, they're injured or they're about to die. So we make really wide and non-aggressive circles, really slow like. And you're supposed to do that every five minutes or five, ten minutes or so. So yeah, once they get a little bit closer and you get their attention, it'll be sort of like a help cry almost. Make really aggressive, small, smaller circles, which is kind of harder to do for on some decoys. A quick peek in here. Chris is in the. Uh, Chris has got a little, little setup going. Yep. And we're still right here. All right, guys. Chrissy, first, first catch. Ever on the ice fishing? Alright guys, um, first ice fish ever actually. It's a nice sized perch. Ooh. Um, yeah, I didn't, I was opening some pop actually, and um, my bobber went down. Uh, yeah, I was just, just jigging a minnow, and um, yeah, nice little perch here. First ever, it feels really good. We're on the board. All right, guys. Um, not much going on right now. Peyton's on the bobber rod, but look at this view. All right, guys. So uh, you know, hey, first day out here. Um, you know, we're just learning the craft. We're learning the spear. You can't. You, you got to learn the spear before you can fish with the spear so we're just out here uh, kind of getting the lay of the land um we got a whole nother whole nother morning session another four or five hours out here so what did we get today uh we got chris got one perch um that, i think it was just an unlucky soul that just kind of had bad luck because the rest yeah. of the day we, we weren't really having any much luck but um i mean just look at this look at this setup we got out here i again i just want to thank jackie for taking us out here man look at this guy no problem that was good. Fun times. Hey, but you'll see us tomorrow. There's gonna be a pike sitting right here, okay? <laughs> All right.
early morning, uh, around 9 o'clock, um, getting back out on the water. Um, pretty late night last night. Chris had some uh, Madden struggles. Yeah. I don't know if that's what I would call it, because the last game I beat him 40 to, was it 13? Yeah, but you were the Chiefs and I was the, I was the Jets, so. But we were playing, in my defense, we were playing on arcade mode the first part of the night. And once we started playing simulation, he could not win a game anymore, so. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if that was to contribute to it or if it was just uh, late night. <laughs> but, um, hey, I'm ready, I'm ready to spear my first fish today, I'd say. Kill one. What do you guys say about that, Chris? I'm ready. I'm ready. What is it? What's your mentality going into today? Tell them. My mentality is, that I just, I think we, I think I really just want to see one, honestly, in the ice today. I want to see one. You know, it doesn't matter if we, if we convert or not. It'd be nice to see one. All right, guys, update. So this is the other ice house Jack has. We're not using the shell today. He's just got to carve out some of the, the ice that came on in the last couple days when he wasn't using it. So uh, we're going to be fishing in the dark house. And then I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're going to set up a tip up at the last hole we were at. So we'll get back to you. So a tip up is pretty much kind of like a passive fishing. So while we spear actively, we have a line out there that, so what it is is um, we have a line set on a little trigger. Yeah. And so once the line starts going, like the fish catches or eats the minnow, the flag will go up and then we can see if they have it. And then once we have the fish, we can reel it up. All right guys, so uh, here's the uh, ice house for the day. Um, it's You know what, it's gonna be tight quarters, but uh, I think we're ready. We got three men, one house. Three men, one house. One, one tiny house. That's and, okay. And that's that's what it's. We're going bare minimum. We wanted that quick setup, and I think, Chris, what are your predictions? I'm feeling it. You know, I always err on the more optimistic side, but I'm really like I believe it this time. I'm really optimistic. I think we're gonna spear one and catch a bunch on the tip up in two and a half hours or however however much time we have. Good thing he keeps coming back. Yeah. yeah.
Oh. Oh. I got him. Damn it. Well, um, we had some pretty good activity so far. I I threw out one, but I missed. I, I don't know what happened. I I think it was a little too deep, and I threw a little bit too forward. But we still got a lot a lot more time, and it's been pretty good activity. So hopefully it keeps up. Yeah, I'm impressed. Uh, this is fun as shit, bro. This is so <laughs> fun. Like we've seen. Like Jack told us throughout the past week and a half, he hasn't really seen any. So we were like not like super oh, Benny's expecting on the anything. Phone. What up, Benny? How we doing? Uh, we just missed what we just had we just had a, we had a spear throw um we we, we oh, just missed it. Miss. it was near a fucking miss. it's a sick it's a cool it's the coolest thing ever benny well we're gonna get one here soon have you you haven't struck one quite yet no but dude, dude we're in the tiniest shack ever it's about <laughs> it's five by three maybe and all three of us are sitting in it. and it's pitch it's pitch black because we have to look into the water Oh my gosh, can you, it's like, do you have a heater at least? Oh yeah, but it's getting steamy in there. Yeah, I get fucking hot. sweat my ass off. <laughs> throw some chum in the water. That's illegal. You can't do that. Oh, wow. That yeah, bad, it is literally the coolest thing ever, dude. What's up, boys? We're, uh, we just, uh, we're packing up for the day. Um, way more successful today. We, we saw a lot. Jackie, Jackie missed the one, but, um, we know that's unlike him. That's not what he. Uh, that's not what he usually does. I suck him, but he got away. Yeah, he he did stick him. There was remnants of his skin there, all over. Yeah, I don't know. Tip up wasn't really successful today, but we caught a fish this trip. That that was the goal. I said that's I wanted cool. to catch a nice fish, so I caught a perch. That's true, man. I I don't know. I think that uh, I think I'm kind of hooked, man. This is super fun. We'll have to give this another try soon, hopefully. Yeah, we'll be back. Alright guys, uh, we're just heading out of, uh, of Jack's house, um, special thanks to uh, his family and Jack for showing us around, I mean they didn't need to do that. Very special thanks. Great great hospitality man, they, they really looked out for us. Um, but yeah, we just kind of wanted to give some, uh, some, some, we, some, uh, some thoughts here before we uh, wrap up the video man, but so the thing about the thing about the spear fishing is, I mean, it's it's really you don't see you go out there. Jack goes out there like eight hour days, and he won't even see a fish. So we, us, were, we were very fortunate to see four fish today. Like yeah. that was huge, and three of them weren't even spearable. They the two of them went away super quick, and the other one was swimming like 15 feet down on the floor, not even paying attention. Yeah. So is it right or left? Right. right. But yeah, I mean, it's it's really rare to, I'm not saying it's really rare to, but Jack speared only two fish all year so far. So, I mean, we we got an opportunity at one of them today and I think he's, we caught it on the- Yeah, oh yeah, camera. we got it. I we mean, got a bunch of film, I think, of the fish swimming. We're, we're uh, doing this after, but, so you guys will see, you guys probably just saw some great footage of the fish and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's a really cool experience. Um, yeah, I touched on this earlier. I think the coolest part, man, is just like, because usually you're fishing and you're not actually seeing the fish, but like here you're literally see, you literally see them swim by and like I just thought, I just think that's so cool and it's so like exciting. It's and what Jack said what Jack said something he said it's more like hunting than fishing. Honestly, it's kind of like deer hunting. Like you're just waiting to see. And I think it's just like I don't know. I'll definitely I'll definitely want to do it again. I think it's something that like it's hard kind of to get into it. Like you got to get a lot of you got to get a lot of the right materials and like. But once you get into it, I think it's pretty, it's pretty easy to do and it's pretty easy set up. So and we didn't go, we didn't go back uh, empty-handed either. I caught my first ice fish ever, so that was pretty cool. The, catching a little perch out of the ice, so that was that'll be something to build on. We're hopefully, um, like we said, we have a ton of huge, huge things happening with the channel and stuff. We're going 
hopefully to go ice fishing next week as well. So I mean, we'll definitely take you guys along there too. Yeah, and I just hope you guys enjoyed learning how to do this with us. I mean, we tried to, we tried as much as we could to just bring you guys along on this journey. So now you can kind of say, hey, I know what it's like to spear fish a little bit. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, special thanks to Jack again. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and yeah, just make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And there'll be plenty more content like this, guys. Thank you so much for watching.